Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Child Oxtable, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to Theme Park News and Update from Trips Drill. Now this is a construction update on their two new Vacoma roller coasters set to open in the 2020 season. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel around with your friends and family, we're well over the three, uh, 1300 mark in subscribers, 1300, we're well over that mark now. So thank you so, so much for that. Just a few days now, until the, just a couple of days actually until the end of the year. I cannot believe we're almost at the end of 2019 and the decade, I can't believe it. And also guys, comment down below if you want me to do um, a roundup of the last 10 years of the main UK theme parks like Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington, Paltons Park, um, Flamingo Land, Lightwater like Valley. If you want me to do those videos and do like a last last 10 years sort of series um, and sort of tw 2010 to 2019 decade series on these parks, these UK theme parks, uh, then please comment down below. But for now guys, let's get into this theme park news update, this construction update from Trips Drill. So we've got some recent images officially from the park. So full credit to this image goes to Trip Straw themselves. So let's have a look at the latest construction of these brand new roller coasters. So for those of you who don't know, uh, this is a Vacoma family boomerang uh, called Voldampf, which is the German word. And uh, basically that means full steam. Uh, then you've got head over heels in German, it's Hals Uber Kompf. And that's how it's pronounced, uh, but it means head over heels. That's a Vekoma suspended thrill coaster. Now, if you don't know the difference between the suspended thrill and suspended family, basically the suspended family uh, is your sort of no inversion family coaster. You look at flight of the pterosaur at the Lost Kingdom area of Poulton's Park, uh, Freedom Flyer at Fun Spot uh, over in the States, um, and then you've also got uh, the Vekoma suspended thrill coaster which is basically that, but with a couple of inversions added to it. It's what Tato Park is still looking to add, basically. They were looking to add it, then the plans got rejected, but I hear they put in a new submission for the plans, so hopefully they get those accepted as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, so full steam and head over heels uh, are the two new roller coasters. So let's have a look on the construction site. So on your screen now, find out what is construction image number one. And construction image number one clearly shows a uh, track that's been constructed with supports and also track for both coasters laid out on site. Uh, now, um, obviously you can clearly see uh, the turnaround section of the boomerang coaster that's been constructed. Um, you can see one of the lifted elements just sort of to the far of the picture. And you can see two bits of track for each of the two coasters uh, laid down next to it on the site. One, red, one dark red track, which will be for the boomerang, and one goldy type track, which will be for the inverted coaster. The second image on your screen now, find up it all, and I'll sort of direct your attention to the concept art in the sort of bottom left of the image in a little bit. But first of all, you can see bottom right, you can see loads of boomerang coaster track, uh, and you can see this massive building with the uh, rising hill uh, coming out of it. Now that building will be the station for the family boomerang coaster. And now I divert your attention to the little concept art. That, my friends, is what the building will look like, the station building for the boomerang coaster, the family boomerang will look like and you can see it's coming along very very well. Moving into concept image number three on your screen now, find a bit of look at that turnaround section again you see the big RCS crane, RCS very good installers of roller coasters uh, and you can see that they are uh, currently still at work installing the brand new coasters in place. Oh, you can see some track as well for the suspended thrill coaster on site as well. Finally, on your screen now, find out the fourth and final image of today, and this shows clearly the uh, inverted supports that have been constructed, ready for more track to be uh, brought in underneath uh, for the head over heels inverted suspender thrill coaster. So there we go, so that is the latest construction on Trips Drill's new roller coasters. I'm really excited about these coasters, obviously, uh, both with a Swabian type theme, um, and just it, it just looks fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, you can tell by the level of detail and the concept art of the station building for the Boomerang, you can clearly see that they're going to go all out with this one, uh, and these both of these projects they're going to go all out for. 
Um, so I can't wait to see them when they're open. I hope you guys are really excited to see when these rides are open next year. Obviously we're getting closer and closer to 2020 by the minute. Uh, which means we're going to count down the days of, I mean, you know, you've, got, you've only got to look at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, for example. It is only a couple of months away till the start of the season for the for the WOW weekends in February. I, I, I'm trying to decide whether to go to Alton Towers opening weekend in March or Blackpool Pleasure Beach's WOW weekend in February. Um, either one, not both of them, but either one this year. I'm still deciding on the two. But I think... Um, even if I don't go to the WOW weekend this February, I think I'll definitely make a visit at some point to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Maybe not next year, but definitely at least 2021 for the reimagining of Valhalla being open. Uh, so, there we go. So, that is the latest construction of Tripstrel's new coasters. Like I said, really excited about these. The track's going up really well. Construction is really progressing on site now as we speak. Uh, and, of course, we can't wait for the opening in 2020. So thank you very much for watching another Theme Park News update here on Coaster Channel. We have passed over 600 episodes now of Theme Park Newsroom, which is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Hope you enjoyed our earlier video today from Holiday Park in Germany and the last of those Pops of Fan presentation updates from that presentation. Um, talking about all the future projects going on at Holiday Park. Uh, like I said, really excited to see what they're going to come out of uh, as well. And we sort of review what my favourite pops of presentation moments were and things like that. Uh, obviously we've got loads more videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, as we round off 2019 and head into the early parts of 2020. I'm sure we're going to get an announcement from Alton Towers on the specific attractions that are going to be inside the new world of David Williams. I'm sure we're going to get that announcement as soon as possible. Thought Park, I'm sure we're going to get an announcement on what they're doing for next year. Um... Poulton's Park, we're counting down the days until Sonoma Springs is opening. Flamingoland, Ten Loop and Coaster, I'm sure we're going to count down the days until they're open. The sale of GeForce at Drayton Manor, I mean, it's on the website with no price tag, so who's going to buy it? Is it going to be open next year? Who knows? Um, loads of other future prospects going on, uh, projects going off, uh, and I'm just really excited for all of them. And obviously, 2021, that's going to be a big year for attractions as, as well. you got... Six Flags St. Louis removing their tidal wave uh, shoot the shoot ride. Is this for a future coaster in 2021? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, Magic Mountain has been rumored a coaster for 2021. Uh, you know, one of the people that commented below with the first uh, sort of telling me about the rumor in the first place, sort of suggesting, you know, look out for construction around that Green Lantern tidal wave site in 2020 in January. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that. But for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Tripstrel. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and fo uh, feelings down below and your theories. And also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coach Charlotte, Kit on the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.